Hey guys, it's Reverend James Clark at North Bramley Presbyterian Church, and I'm very excited to be recording this video for you. This video is at one piece a bit of information, and it's also, to me, quite the celebration. And that's on September 12th at 10 a.m., North Bramley Presbyterian Church will be reopening for public worship. I am so excited as a minister to be able to say that. Over the summer, our session and myself have been researching and working and reading all the new news. We're in step three of the Ontario reopening plan and making sure that we can do this in a safe and enjoyable manner for everybody who's a part of NVPC's community. And when I say to you, hey, we're reopening for worship at 10 a.m. on Sunday, September the 12th, you might have some questions. And so this about six or eight minute video is meant to be seen by you, to be watched by you, to answer some of those questions. And so stick around for a little bit and we will give you some information that you need to know in order to participate in worship in the coming months at NBPC. The first question that you might have is, how many people are gonna be at this service? Well, in Ontario, the provincial health bylaws state that in step three of our COVID-19 reopening plan, the church can have as many people in it as its capacity will allow, as long as those people are social distanced. And so in order for you to be able to sit with your family and for everyone to remain six feet apart from 360 degrees around them, we have come up with a number after we measured and looked into all the possibilities. We came up with a number of 74 people. Now there will be a few more people in the sanctuary at the time. There'll be me as the worship person. There'll be a few people in choir that we'll talk about a little bit later. There'll be the person who runs the cameras and the tech and the PowerPoint. But for the amount of people we can have safely in our sanctuary, that number is 74. And so what we are going to do is what we did last time when we reopened in September of 2020, which is we're going to ask that you pre-register so that we can have your contact tracing info and all of those things online. So the pre-registration for the September 12th service will hopefully go up on August 23rd, which is this coming Monday. And so what we'd like you to do is pre-register with whatever family you're bringing, and we will seat you by way of an usher with that family. Also, just a reminder, when you're inside the building, you uh, have to wear a mask, as is the Ontario bylaw. I won't wear a mask because I'll be safely far apart from everybody while I preach, but whenever I'm not at the front of the church, I will be wearing a mask. And also, we'd like to strongly encourage that you get yourself vaccinated before you come. We will not turn people away at the door. We will not tell them or ask you if you are vaccinated or not, but we would strongly encourage you to really consider being vaccinated, not just to protect yourself, but to protect others as well. The next question you might have for you that I hinted at before is, hey, if we're coming to church, can we sing? Well, in our conversations with Brampton Public Health, they were very clear that although singing is a higher risk activity, it is certainly not prohibited. And so what they seemed to be saying to us and what they said to us was that you can sing as long as you are safe about it. The question I actually asked them was, as long as we were all masked, and we were six feet apart from each other, and none of us were rock stars or opera stars, could we sing? And the answer back was, singing is not prohibited. And so those are the rules that we're going to encourage. When you sing, whether you're a part of the choir or you are sitting in the sanctuary, we're gonna encourage you to sing with a mask on. That will be the rule. And we're gonna encourage you not to do your best 
pop star or rock star or opera star and not sing out too loudly when you are praising Jesus. And so can you sing? Yes, as long as we're careful about it. The next question you might have for us is, why are we only doing one service right now? Well, just so you know, in the Presbyterian Church in Canada, session decides the hours of worship, and at a session meeting, we voted and agreed that to start off, we are going to start off with just one service at 10 a.m. The reasons for that are multiple, but I can give you one of them or two of them right now. First of all, when we did reopen last summer, or last September, I apologize, we did have trouble filling the 9 a.m. service, especially if you removed the elders who attended that service. And so we figured that it would be a good idea, particularly if we want to have some food and fellowship, which I'll get into later with everyone who comes to the service. And we figured it would be a good idea to get everyone all together as best we can to keep everyone on the same track as we ease in to public worship for the first time in about a year. And so those are some of the reasons why we're just starting with one service right now. And session speaks with one voice on this matter. Also, just so you know, YouTube and Zoom will continue. So if it doesn't quite suit your needs to come to a 10 a.m. service, you can always watch us on YouTube afterwards. And wherever you are, whether you be in your truck or around the world, you can always join us on Zoom at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning to have the worship at the same time. And so that is how we are moving forward with one service just to start. The last question you might have is, hey, will there be any fellowship? And how are you going to tell the congregation about this? Well, first of all, every congregation member will receive a mailed letter from me as long as we have your information. Uh, that is a newsletter that talk about some of the changes that have happened in the congregation and in the Presbyterian Church in Canada, and also will communicate to everybody the information that I have just communicated to you in this video about when you can open, when we're opening, pre-registration, and all those type of things. Also, you might be asking, hey, would it be a good idea for me to tell my friend in the church about this? I would answer to that, absolutely yes. Because all the elders are certainly gonna call everybody and I'm gonna call as many people as I can and I'm gonna set out a newsletter, but I would hate to be a member or an adherent of NBPC and not know that we are opening. We really need everybody to participate to let everybody know that they can participate in our worship. Also, you might ask, hey, are we going to be able to have food and fellowship? A great tradition at NBPC. Well, the Ontario Public Health Guidelines state pretty clearly that we can gather outside, weather permitting, and have something like a barbecue or provide food for people in the congregation on the first Sunday that we're open, which will be September 12th. And we're also making plans to perhaps have some refreshments and food for the rest of the services in September, whether that just be lemonade or water or whatever it happens to be. So bring your lawn chairs and chat up somebody who maybe you haven't met or seen in person in about a year or so in that great NBPC tradition of refreshment and fellowship but we're just going to be able to do it outside. So that is all the information that I have for you in this video. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for the prayerful support of NBPC. And like I said in the first sermon I ever preached here at North Bramley Presbyterian Church about just about a year ago. This is a weird time to be the church. This is a wilderness time to be a church, but remember, God is in the wilderness with us. 
My name is Reverend James Clark. Thanks for watching. God bless, and I hope to see you out sometime in the near future.